Welcome to BSc Statistics student. In this lesson, I explain method of semi averages. This is one of the method to obtain long term fluctuations, that is, uh, secular trend or trend. This is a very simple method. See here, it is explained in some of the steps here. First of all, we have to divide the whole data into two equal parts with respect to a particular time period. In case of odd number, odd number of years or odd number of periods, omit the observation corresponding to the middle period. Like that, after that, you have to compute the arithmetic mean of the each part and uh, plot these arithmetic means against the midpoint of the respective time periods and so the dry strike line by joining these two particular points whatever the point that the strike line obtained by the drawing by joining these two particular points will give you a trend line it is an approximate trend line but uh, not exactly as uh, uh, which will be discussed in the strike line the straight line will give the the best graphical solution, best graphical uh, trend curve or a trend line. So here it is uh, approximately it, it uh, uh, give the trend line. It gives the it gives the trend line. Approximately it, pro it produces the trend line. Okay, that is what the reference uh, or improvement. Uh, uh, of principle of least squares rather than that is uh, than this particular method. Uh, now, if you consider, uh, I show you some particular uh, problems in two particular cases. You see, this is what the data here leads was it was specified. Fit a trend line to the following uh, data by the method of semi averages. By the method of semi averages, uh, if you consider 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10 periods. So, 5-5 five, five periods you can um, uh, divide, you see solution of this particular problem. So, we have considered since the n is equal to 10 years, first of all we have to divide the total uh, uh, data into two particular parts, 1985 to 99 one part, 90 to 94 another part, two particular parts we have divided. Then you calculate arithmetic means, total and divided by 5 because 5 periods we have. 74, some like that. Arithmetic mean of second part. Consider of arithmetic mean of second part. That is, you have to calculate arithmetic mean of, you see here, arithmetic mean of 95 to 82. These five periods up to here, 95 to 89, divided by 2, 68 plus 72 plus 75 plus 77 plus 85, 82, divided by 2, divided by 5, not 2, 5 because of 5 period. Arithmetic mean you have to calculate. Similarly, arithmetic mean is to be calculated for 1990 to 94 for this particular second part. These are the two parts, part 1, part 2. For these parts, you have to calculate arithmetic mean. Hope you understand. This is what uh, in the solution the, for arithmetic mean of first part, arithmetic mean of second part. And so that uh, these are the averages are going to be is now represented in the graph like this in this fashion. You have to consider year here and uh, industrial production it is what is given the variable. And you have to consider at midpoint 95 to 98. Here is a see the point here 95 to 90, 98, 1980, 1985 to 89. The middle value is 1987. Against the middle value 1987, middle period 1987, you have to uh, make the point that is uh, plot the point. Which point? 74.8 for first part. Midpoint is 70, uh, 1987. Um, the value is 74. Point, average is 74.8. You have to plot here. This is the value. And the for next part, middle period is 1992. 90 to 94 middle period is 92 for against that uh, we have to plot the point this is the point what is the value 85.4 against to this period you have to plot this 
arithmetic mean 85.4 here and you have to join these two points you will get strike line we can also obtain trend values from this um, graph by extending this particular graph for example if you want uh, uh, production in 95 96 the production will be uh, estimated it can be estimated by extending this particular point this particular uh, line and uh, we, we can make the prediction so that is this is what uh, uh, procedure of uh, uh, semi averages right similarly odd number of years this is another problem which is which consists of odd number of years n is equal to 9 9 years 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 9 years in which uh, you can uh, consider you can omit uh, you have to omit the um, middle period that is 95 you can omit this and uh, you take two particular parts first part is of four years second part of four years and by leaving the middle year you have to do the calculation for first year average is this first four years average is this arithmetic mean of the um, first uh, next four years is this is calculated like that you have to draw the graph and everything it is same i show you the graph here in the similar fashion we can we have the there is no particular uh, difficulty to draw the uh, graph okay here we have consider here sales here we have considered y axis here on x axis and uh, similarly you have to plot against to the middle period against to the middle period you have to draw the value here that is between uh, 92 to 93 in between that you have to plot the uh, point that is uh, the value of the sales average average of the first part average of the second part so that you have to join the line and so that you will get the required uh, graph and so that you can uh, if you want to calculate uh, uh, the trend values you can calculate by using by extending the line and by extending the line you can calculate the trend values similarly in the same procedure is going to be followed this is method of semi averages i hope you understand this is method of semi averages thank you thank you so much